If you've ever lost someone to cancer, or you've fought it yourself, you've probably wondered, when will there be a cure? So what if I told you it's already here, and not in a pill or a lab, but inside of you? We've now discovered how to trick the human body into fighting or preventing cancer itself. And it's not with drugs or radiation, it's by reactivating the natural defense systems you were born with. You and I both have precancerous cells in our body right now, but if they don't turn into cancer, there's nothing to worry about. Your body knows how to fight cancer, and it has been since the day you were born. And thanks to science, we now know exactly how this works, and more importantly, what you can do to give yourself a better chance at preventing or fighting cancer. It's absolutely amazing, so today I'm going over exactly what makes your body's built-in cancer defense systems shut down, and the surprising way that scientists have discovered to reactivate them. Every single day, tens of thousands of mistakes happen in your DNA. They're like little typos in your genetic code. And each one of those mistakes has the potential to turn into a little cancer cell. Now, that sounds terrifying, right? I mean, thousands a day? So why aren't we all getting cancer by the age of 30? Well, because your immune system is like an army on constant patrol. Every single minute, your body is scanning, identifying, and eliminating these threats before they can become dangerous. It's like a police cruiser rolling through your neighborhood and catching bad guys before anyone even noticed they were there. But it's when your immune system starts breaking down from things like inflammation, a poor diet, or even stress, that's when cancer can win. Let's say one little cancer cell slips past your immune system. It's tiny, but then it starts multiplying and turns into a tumor. Fine, but it's the minute a single blood vessel connects to that tumor that everything changes. Suddenly it's getting oxygen, nutrients, growth signals, and it starts to grow exponentially. It can go from something tiny to something you can feel within just weeks or months. So tumors don't just grow on their own, they literally hijack your circulation system. They force your body to build blood vessels to feed them. And there's a fancy word for this called angiogenesis. But here's the crazy part. Your body actually knows how to control this. It's constantly building blood vessels where they're needed and shutting them down where they're not. But the problem is all the strain we put on our poor bodies, from the junk food we eat and the chemicals we're exposed to, that's what throws this whole system off completely. This is Dr. William Lee. Thanks to his research, we now know that certain foods can help block tumors from building those little blood vessels we just talked about. They're called anti-angiogenic foods. And some of the most powerful ones are plain old coffee and teas, especially Earl Grey, green tea, and matcha. You've probably heard for years that green tea is the holy grail of anti-cancer drinks, and it's true, it's loaded with antioxidants. But when researchers recently compared teas from all around the world, the winner wasn't green tea, it was Earl Grey. Earl Grey has compounds from both black tea and bergamot, and these protect your blood vessels and keep your circulation running smoothly. But when your blood vessels get damaged from things like high blood pressure, too much sugar, smoking, processed foods, the inside lining of them gets rough and full of little grooves. And suddenly your blood cells passing through get caught on the inside lining. So oxygen can no longer flow through your body as well. So what's great about Dr. Lee's research is that it shows that the compounds in tea help to keep your blood vessels healthy and their growth in check. Again, helping you defend yourself against cancer. I don't know about you, but I love matcha. And matcha's amazing because you're not actually steeping the leaf, you're consuming the whole thing. So that means you're getting 100% of the polyphenols, the things that lower inflammation, improve your gut health, and fight oxidative stress. In a groundbreaking study on immunotherapy treatment, doctors compared two groups of cancer patients, those who responded well to treatment and those who didn't. They were the same age, had the same type of cancer, received the same treatment, but had completely different outcomes. So what made the difference? Not their genetics, not their overall history, one single gut bacteria. Now I know you may be thinking, yeah right, stick with me. This gut bacteria called Acromancia lives deep in your colon, and the patients that had more of it were much more likely to survive from cancer. It shows how important your gut health is. Around 70% of your immune system is controlled by your gut. It's like your body's command center for defense. Everything you eat and every bacteria in your intestine sends signals to control your immune cells. It determines whether they're on alert and ready to attack, or if they're lazy and ready to go to sleep. So as you can imagine, when your gut is healthy and balanced, your immune system is strong. It recognizes threats from viruses and abnormal cells and eliminates them before they become a problem. 
But when your gut microbiome is out of whack, when you have more bad bacteria than good bacteria, your immune system becomes confused. It either overreacts and creates inflammation, or it underreacts, allowing dangerous cells like precancerous cells to slip through the cracks. But how do we even know if we have an unhealthy gut? Well, you'll usually have a pretty good idea if you're constantly bloated, if you have irregular bowel movements, if you often have food cravings, especially for sugar and carbs, you're always tired, you have brain fog or skin issues, or you get sick often. If you're noticing more than two or three of these at once, your gut is likely off balance. So healing your gut is like strengthening your body's first line of defense against cancer. And you don't need any medications to have a strong, healthy gut. So what are the best things we can do to heal it? Well, first off, there are foods you can eat to help grow that amazing bacteria we just talked about, the Acromancia. They're a little random, but number one is pomegranates or cranberries. Number two, Concord grapes. Number three, chili peppers. And number four, black Chinese vinegar, the kind you would have with soup dumplings. Now, again, I know these are pretty random, but I'm not making this up. They've actually been scientifically proven to help your immune system prevent and fight cancer more effectively. Now let's say you have a clean, healthy diet and you're drinking your matcha every morning. There's another hidden factor that can significantly raise your cancer risk. It's called being skinny fat and is one of the most overlooked and dangerous risk factors for cancer. You don't have to be overweight to have dangerous body fat called visceral fat. This is the hidden fat that wraps around your organs. It's not immediately under your skin, so you might not even know it's there. But a study done of over 3,000 women with high amounts of visceral fat had a much higher risk of developing breast cancer. Three times the risk. Imagine your abdomen as a suitcase. Everything is neatly packed, your liver, your intestines, your stomach, now imagine cramming some open bottles of hand lotion or shampoo between all the clothes. The suitcase still looks the same from the outside, but inside everything's a mess. Sticky, leaking, and suffocating. That's exactly what visceral fat does and why it creates inflammation in your body. And when that inflammation builds up over time, it confuses your immune system. That same army that's supposed to hunt down cancer cells, it starts getting distracted and tired. But here's the good news. Research is now showing that we can completely reverse that. You can literally retrain your immune cells to recognize and destroy precancerous cells using the exact same defenses you were born with. Honestly, it almost sounds too good to be true. In cancer patients, doctors are now able to look at both the DNA from their cancer cells and from their healthy cells and use AI to spot the exact DNA mutation that caused the cancer to occur. And this is amazing because once they find that mutation, they can then develop a personalized vaccine that will train your own immune system to recognize and destroy those cancer cells. A vaccine made just for you from your own cancer. And in early trials of this, even aggressive brain cancers like glioblastomas, this treatment is already showing patients living longer and in some cases remaining cancer free forever. So will this be the cure for cancer? Maybe, and it's certainly not the way we always pictured it. But every new breakthrough is leading us to the same thing, that your body already knows how to heal itself. And the most powerful medicine isn't made in a lab. It's the one that's already built into you. Our bodies are amazing, and it's like we're finally figuring out how to teach it to recognize its enemies. So the real question is, are we helping our body do its job, or are we standing in its way? And if you found this interesting, wait until you see how fasting can also help to reset your gut and immune system. So I'll leave that with you next and I'll see you next week.